Governor Janet Mills, by the way, is not waiting to see what kind of destruction Hurricane Lee inflicts in Maine. Today, she declared a state of emergency, saying that the sustained high winds, pounding surf, and heavy rain pose an imminent threat to public safety, as well as damage to public and private property. She is also calling now on President Joe Biden to preemptively issue a presidential emergency disaster declaration for the state, which would give Maine access to federal resources and personnel to respond to the storm. Now, according to weather experts, Hurricane Lee's impact will be comparable to the nor'easter storms we see here every year. Although experts don't expect to see a full on hurricane making landfall, people should still start preparing. New Center Maine's Raya Wooten shows us how to get ahead of the storm. What we're expecting to see for Maine is heavy rainfall, tropical storm force winds, and some potential uh, coastal flooding and erosion. National Weather Service Warning Coordination Meteorologist Louise Foti says when the storm hits, be prepared to lose power. A complicating factor is that we've had some recent rainfall, so uh, the soils are saturated and that means that trees won't be in the ground as strongly and even lower winds can cause uh, trees to blow over that maybe perhaps wouldn't blow over normally. Penobscot County Emergency Management Director Bradley Newting says storm preparation starts with the household. If they haven't already, you know, cleaning out their gutters, checking their sump pumps, bringing in outside furniture, uh, making sure they got plenty of gas both in their vehicles as well as if they're fortunate enough to have a generator. Bodie says if you have a generator, take an extra step and test it early. Newting also recommends getting extra supplies. I know some just-in-time expenses could be difficult for a lot of families, um, but we should at least be trying to keep some basics in our households. Newting says have at least one gallon of water on hand for each person and pet in your home. Make sure you have the medication and prescription drugs you need, pet supplies, and stock your home with easy-to-make food items. He says what you shouldn't do is panic. I would not advise people to go above and beyond too much, uh, keeping it within their budgets, obviously, but just basic goods that you would need. Fody says the better you prepare now, the more ready you'll be for other storms later in the year. Go ahead and prepare for this. Stay home. Please don't drive through floodwaters. And uh, of course, always, if you need help, call 911. Raya Luton, New Center, Maine. And the U.S. Coast Guard wants us to know it's ready with its crews to help when needed. It has six stations evenly spaced out between Eastport and South Portland. Leaders at the South Portland station today said many of their guardsmen are excited for the challenge and they're ready to help rescue people or boats in need. They also said this is a rare, severe summer storm which offers its own obstacles. A lot of boats are still in the water, both commercial and recreational boats, which is obviously very different than, you know, some of the winter nor'easters we've had in December and January. So I just would really encourage folks to, you know, if you have the ability and the means to, to haul your smaller recreational boats, definitely advise that. While the Coast Guard often uses storms as an opportunity to train for rough sea missions, the South Portland station says it will not be training this weekend.